What is happening to the two girls involved in the Slender Man stabbing? Are they getting released? Find out and more in this video. Welcome back to the Monsters Under Our Bed. For those who don't know what happened, two girls, Anissa and Morgan, lured their friend Bella, who were all 12 at the time, into the wooded area of a park. Suddenly, Anissa said, do it now, go ballistic. And then Morgan started stabbing her best friend multiple times. They did this under the belief that if they didn't kill someone for Slenderman, that he, Slenderman, would either kill them or their family. After they left poor Bella to bleed out, they started walking aimlessly for some time and they were eventually picked up by the authorities. As for the victim Bella, she would be found by a bicyclist and taken to the hospital in critical condition, but she would make a full recovery. Many of her stab wounds could have been fatal if the blade went any deeper. She was really fortunate. So now that it's been over seven years since this tragedy, where are they now? Anissa Wire, one of the girls convicted in the Slenderman stabbing case, will soon be released from the Winnebago Mental Health Institute, a judge ruled Thursday. She's been in a facility since December 2017, after a jury found her criminally responsible due to a mental disease and a stabbing that nearly killed a classmate in a crime that gained worldwide coverage. Now 19, she pleaded guilty to attempted second-degree intentional homicide, a lesser offense than she was originally charged with. Sounds like they're working on her release, and she will have a follow-up on her next court hearing that will be on September 9, 2021. Meanwhile, the girl that actually did the stabbing, Morgan Geyser, who is serving a 40-year sentence, the maximum, at a mental health facility, I feel bad for her though as she was diagnosed with schizophrenia and actually has hallucinations. Even though she was incarcerated in a room all by herself, she was fine as she had Professor Snape and other characters to keep her company. She is currently working out a plea agreement with prosecutors in which she avoided trial and pleaded guilty to attempted first degree intentional homicide but that her mental illness was the cause. Morgan Geyser's plea deal allows her to petition for conditional release every six months. She has not done so yet, but she is working on some appeals in the meantime. I thank you so much for watching my video. Please leave a like and a comment down below.